Hello, I bring greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am Brother Hosanna David. This is Igul Ayobana. I want to quickly draw our attention to what the Lord revealed to me over a year now. I posted two separate videos talking about World War III um, as it concerns the COVID-19. And uh, I really want us to pray and continue to intercede for our world because we can't afford to fight another world war right now. It will be too devastating. But I know that prayers will go a long way to destabilize the plans of the, of the enemy. The COVID-19 uh, virus actually brought a lot of uh, speculations, a lot of uh, beliefs about the origin. But recently, from as from June 1, uh, which is uh, just a few days ago, that the emails of Dr. Anthony Fauci were actually published. Uh, the, the, the belief is growing. The belief about the uh, lab leak theory of the Wuhan virus and China is not helping the issue. Uh, social media, big tech, uh, are not companies are not also helping issues because of the tight censoring of information. Before now, uh, the lab leak theory was censored, but now that God has brought out a lot of secrets uh, as it concerns the COVID-19 uh, as revealed from the emails of uh, Dr. Anthony, Anthony Fauci, the censoring has died down right now. And I know that God is continue, will continue to work and bring out everything that is hidden in secret. We, I know that definitely we will get to the bottom of the origin of this pandemic. China has wholly rejected the lab leak theory and has instead accused the U.S. and others of peddling conspiracy and politicizing the, pa the pandemic to divert attention. Uh, China, even now, is reacting negatively and somehow aggressively about the uh, lab leak theory. Um, it, China is also making, is found to be making extraordinary effort to block attempts to unravel the origin of COVID-19. It, it, it is not, China is not cooperating enough as far as the uh, research uh, into the origin of COVID-19. China is not releasing enough information. And we should also know that when COVID-19 broke out, initially there was a lot of cover-up by China. The information that's supposed to be released were not released and the people that spoke out were actually sanctioned. Uh, people working in Wuhan Lam uh, were not allowed to speak up and a lot of things actually happened. Even the doctor that found out uh, this strain of uh, coronavirus was actually sanctioned and now I don't think we know where that lady is. Uh, the question is that why is China behaving this way if it has nothing to hide? We need to pray. Uh, we can't afford another world war. There is more, more to this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. The image we are not really, uh, I, I mean the image of Dr. Anthony Fauci, we are not, we are not actually leaked, but they, uh, they were redacted. Uh, they, the unredacted version were obtained by US based media, the Washington Post and Boost Feed News via Freedom of Information Act request. 
Both athletes published the information they received on June 1. Uh, the emails were from 2020 and they cover the early days of the pandemic and they give a lot of insight into how Dr. Fauci went about dealing with an unfolding crisis. Dr. Fauci actually lied uh, to the U.S. and to the whole world that the U.S. was not funding gain-of-function research in China. But his emails confirm uh, this uh, fact that he was actually lying. In fact, people are calling for the imprisonment of Dr. Anthony Fauci because he lied. The emails revealed a lot of lies about uh, his relationship with China. And I know uh, by the time they bring out his phone conversation, a lot of things are going to unfold. And we need to pray. Prayers will help so that, uh, don't say you are not in power, your voice cannot be heard, but the Lord has revealed, I'm going to put a link of the two videos in the description box so that we can, if you have not watched the video or you can just go if you have watched before so that you can refresh your memory. We need to pray. God says we should pray. So I am calling on everyone, every single human being, every single Christian to pray. We need to pray. Because now the U.S. is looking to get to the bottom of the issue. Uh, President Joe Biden has directed the U.S. intelligence community to investigate, investigate the origin of the COVID-19 pandemic. Even just uh, recently, a few days ago, former President Donald Trump, Trump sent in a statement. Let me quote him. The correspondence between Dr. Fauci and China speaks too loudly for anyone to ignore. China should pay $10 trillion to America and to the world for the death and the destruction they have caused. End of quote. Let us go down on our knees. Uh, there is a lot more going on. I don't want to say much, but there is a lot more behind this COVID-19 that we do not know. Let us pray that whatsoever probe, whatsoever research that is being carried out or that will be carried out should be guided by the will of God. Uh, and also, I also want to say that every one of us should know that Satan is trying to bring a new reset, a new world order. So we have the responsibility to stand in the gap through intercession and also to resist every move of Satan. I, I did a video where I actually talked extensively about my fears. That was last year. I, I talked extensively about my fear, about, uh, I don't want to mention some things, but if you look at the injection they are giving right now, the Lord told me there are much more to it. A lot of issues that will come up later. Let us be careful. Let us not be caught unaware. The devil is out to do some things. But I know, I am very, very positive, and I believe the word of God. The Lord told me some time ago, which I have also published, that it is not possible for the devil to carry out the plan of shipping every single human being. That means the Mark 666 or anything that resembles it, either the original Mark or anything that resembles it to make sure everybody is digitalized. Every single human being in the world is digitalized. God told me and I believe it 100% that it's, God is going to foil, is going to destroy every plan of the wicked. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed and share this video and 
let us continue to pray that God will intervene in the affairs of humanity. The Lord told me it is impossible to digitalize every single human being in the world because it is against the scripture, against the written word of God. And what is happening now is going to destabilize every plan of the wicked. Let us continue to pray so that God will continue to expose every plan of globalists in this world. If you want to um, read more about this, you can go to Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach website, uh, eagleeyeopener.com. If you want to contact me, you can email me on Osana David at ymail.com or uh, my other email info at eagleeyeopener.com. God bless you. Bye bye.